We got some Oga Deck list for you guys today, starring Zachariah Butler's Chaos variant of the deck. And by Chaos variant, I mean it's just a nice little splash of Chaos spaces, some search abilities. It kind of bends some of the norms that we kind of expected with this deck. So, smash that lemon crap out of the subscribe button, and let's dig on into more deck profiles. Shit. And as I said, make sure you guys got that subscribe button checked so that you guys don't miss out on these. So this is Zachariah's list. Uh, from what I heard, he got first and second with this deck this weekend, which is actually pretty awesome. Like, this deck definitely goes against a lot of the norms that we've seen. Uh, I've definitely seen Alistair and Friends packed into this deck, but this particular variant here um, goes one step further. And yet we're playing Chaos Emperor, Levian here. We have, you know, chaos spaces in here. We also have access to the drink goom package in here. There's a lot going on in here that just synergizes relatively well with this deck, which is absolutely awesome. So we have triple copies of Alistair, the normal summon invoker. Hey man, when you can make M uh, Mr. Macabo or you can make a Kaliga for easy access to punish your opponent, why wouldn't you? All right. We have one copy of Alrit, the Odotic Dark. One copy of Amnusia, one copy of Aeron, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, one copy of Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, one copy of the Chaos Dragon Levineer, one copy of Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. Then we have one Caduce, uh, triple copies of Ghost Bell, triple copies of Nayuya, uh, we have triple copies of Nunu, then we have one copy of Ogobis, then we have one Mr. Chaos Creator, one copy of the White Dragon Wyvern Buster, one copy of Zoha with one Dark Magician and one Red Eyes Black Dragon. Then spells here, we have triple copies of Chaos Space, one copy of Invocation, triple copies of Magical Meltdown, one Red Eyes Fusion, triple copies of the Water Lily, and triple copies of everybody's favorite busted card, Snake's Rain. I'm really glad the Konami finally found a way to break this card. Then down here we have one Enchenda, one Verte, one copy of Cross Sheep, one Artemis, one copy of the Hyperton, with one Strina, with one Dragobobobla, one copy of Hope Harbinger, one number 100, one King of the Feral Imps, one Dingrisu, one Abyss Dweller, one Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, one Akaba, and one copy of Kaliga. Side deck here we have triple copies of Lanzia, triple copies of Phantasme, triple copies of Nibiru, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, and triple copies of Mystic Mine. Wrapping up yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is a Chaos Toolbox built in to the Ogadabis strategy, which, once again, I'm saying that I think that this is particularly interesting. Like, when you can open up doors like this and start to see different ideas and things flow through with these, uh, it definitely opens up quite a few interesting ideas here. Now, we have another list here for you guys. It also got second place out of its tournament. Now, keep in mind here that we are playing the Invoked Package with this one, but you're going to see a shift here from, you know, the Chaos Package to this, to the next list. So this was a second place list that Top Deck Scrubs uploaded. And you automatically see straight off the bat here that we are, in fact, packing in. Hey, look, it, we're still playing... Invoke package. We're not playing the Dragoon package in this variant. We're basically taking that aim and we're trying to play more of the combo centric build that we already be having access to with standard Ogdabis or Ogdardic. So we have one copy of Alrit, triple copies of Alistair the Invoker, one copy of Amnusia, one copy of Aeron, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. And then we have one Cruz. Triple copies of Nayu, triple copies of Nunu, triple copies of Gamma, one copy of Zoha, with one copy of Driver, one called by the Grave, one copy of Foolish Bro, triple copies of Droplet, one Feather Duster, one Invocation, triple copies of Magical Meltdown, one Monster Reborn, triple copies of the Ogdotic Water Lily, triple copies of Pot of Prosperity, triple copies of Snake's Rain, and one copy of Terraforming. Down here in the extra deck, one El Mirage, one Enchinda, one Soldier of Chaos, one copy of Hyperton, one Strena, one copy of Dragobolong, one copy of Cope Harbinger, one Numeron 100, King of the Pharaohs, Dingarisu, one Abyss Dweller, one Omega, 
one Macabre, one Kaliga, and one copy of Agoides. Wrapping up this list, as you can see here, both lists are abusing the fact that number 97 can actually call out number 100. And guess what? You have an OTK machine ready to go and end the opponent's dueling career. All right, When you can smash 8K across the table for literally, what, two level 8s to OTK your opponent? Super easy stuff, all right? It, it's very cheesy, but it does get the job done for what it needs to. Next up, we have a first place Grand Manju list out of this weekend. Christian11975 actually ended up uploading this. And you guys know how great it is to get OTK'd in the face with this deck, all right? So this is basically, we're taking multiple good approaches here. We're playing the Fairy Tail Lunas for spot removal, actually take care of things. Mr. Alpha for more spot removal. Um, one Panker Tops for additional spot removal. And the entire, or the entire danger package here for spot removal. Also, for the most part here, most Grand Manju uh, variants have started to head towards Interrupted Kaiju Slumber at this point, uh, instead of the Golden Castle. The Golden Castle stuff just, it's not as good as it was. The value that you have within those cards, uh, it's just, it's not as good as it was. So, we have triple copies of Alpha, the Master of Beast. Triple copies of Bigfoot. Triple copies of Danger Thunderbird. One copy of Dino Wrestler Pankertops. One copy of Doggeron. Two copies of Mr. Eater Millions. Triple copies of Fairy Tail Luna. Triple copies of Gadarla. Hey, you know why you have to play this, right? Stupid Stormwind. Triple copies of Gamma Seal. Triple copies of Gizmek Orochi, the Serpentron Sky Slasher. Triple copies of our OTK machine. We have triple copies of the Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. One copy of Monster Reborn. Triple copies of Potter's Ayers. Triple copies of Super Polymerization. And triple copies of Trade In. Hey, the amount of level 8 synergy that you just get in this deck. Hey, level 8. Hey, level 8. Hey. Hey, level 8. Hey, level 8. It's free real estate for the discard fodder, quite honestly. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Nightmare Phoenix. One copy of Dragoo Belong. One Pain Gainer, one Snap Hold, one copy of Hope Harbinger, one number 100. Man, this is the third deck that is abusing the whole two level eight so to get the opponent. We have one Zeus, one Dingrisu, one Starving Venom, one copy of Dragus Topelia, one Praying Kids Washer, one Mud Dragon, one Elysium, one copy of Eldritch of the Mad Golden Lord, and one Diplex or Chimera. Hey, <laughs> this is a super poly target, by the way. Side deck here, we have one dimensional fissure, one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster, triple copies of System Down, triple copies of Twin Twister, one Red Reboot, triple copies of Sum Limit, and triple copies of Mr. There Can Only Be One. Wrapping up Grand Manju for everybody. Alright, and the last list we actually have for you guys here is from Mr. Slim. Alright, Michael Boyd made top four at his locals here, playing. You guessed it, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Magician. I think this is the fourth Dark Magician profile that I've had the chance to see over the last couple of months. Maybe, uh, maybe Dragoon really is just, maybe this card is really good for this deck. So, we have one copy of Apprentice Illusion Magician Girl, one Dark Magician Girl, triple copies of Phantasme, triple copies of the Magician's Rod, triple copies of Magician Souls, triple copies of Dark Magician, one Red Eyes, triple copies of Dark Magical Circle, one Magical Ice Fusion, one Red Ice Fusion, two copies of Secret Village. Oh, this is pretty spicy. One copy of Secrets, triple copies of Soul Servant, triple copies of Dogmatica Punishment, triple copies of Eternal Soul, two copies of Ice Dragon's Prison, triple copies of Psalm Strike, and triple copies of Torrential Tribute. Wrapping up the main deck. Down here in the next trick, we have one Anima, one Verte, one Link Spider, one M Duck, one Artemis, one copy of Red Ice Flare Metal Dragon, one Big Eye. One Ebon Illusion, two copies of the Dark Magicians, two copies of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, two copies of Venentis, and one copy of the Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Side deck here, we have Triple Lancia, triple copies of Droll and Lockbird, two copies of Nibiru, one copy of Dark Magic Attack. Hey man, the card literally says if you control a Dark Magician, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Free value. Then we have triple copies of Dimensional Barrier and triple copies of Summon Limit. Wrapping up Dark Magician. And 
a chunk of interesting deck profiles for everybody today. So what do you guys think about these lists? Leave a comment down below. Smash the ever-loving crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more excellent deck profiles. I really do want to hear what you guys think about some of these lists. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow to hopefully talk about the breakdown of luxury games. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day for some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Cole 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcole 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolegames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.